<laughs> Hello and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. As you can see, I'm surrounded by chaos because Cedric is going to get his new reef tank and we are going to take a look how a reef tank is glued together. The old tank of Cedric was removed so that a new 200 to 80 to 80 centimeter tank can take its previous place. The goal is to install the sump into the basement. For this purpose, drillings have to be made. The gluing of the tank will be done by my buddy Rudy, whose awesome hobby basement we were allowed to visit a few months ago. The new tank will be built with 15 millimeter white glass. Rudy is going to build the whole aquarium completely on site and the tank will be installed on item bricks. Since the ceiling is thick, there is no need for an additional supporting plate, even though this will be an aquarium weighing over a ton. Drilling these holes was not easy. In total, we spent over two hours trying to get the three holes for drain and return into the floor. Okay and go. Ich hab Schiss. <laughs> Something constantly got stuck and only with the help of several people we finally managed to drill a passage to the basement. Unfortunately we did this on a Sunday. In Germany, on the day of rest, loud noise is not appreciated. When setting up the item stones, it is important to ensure that the edges close with an overlap to be able to fit the covering of the tank above. To prevent slotted water, the tank must stand 100% straight on the stones. Small washers help to align the plates, which are being placed over each other perfectly. Rudy glues the plates carefully so nothing is able to slip. Then a 24mm screen printing plate is placed on the frame. Now everything is supposed to hold and the first glass front can be installed. Now a crucial installation is made. Rudy glues the pipes into the plates which are not glued in yet. This way he can screw everything together beforehand because he cannot reach it later. Rudy puts silicone around the threads. While screwing in the thread, he only secures it lightly. Therefore, the ceiling is not able to slip. At the top, however, he tightens it completely. Finally, the upper area is also sealed with a lot of silicone. No one can open this ever again. After that, the first floor plate is briefly held in place to check that the pipes can be properly connected from the basement. Then a soundproof carpet piece is glued on the plate. A slight unevenness on the floor can be corrected this way. This type of carpet can also be found on regular houses under the floor installations. Everything looks good and the first glass front can come. Do you see these small wooden blocks? There show the distance to the wall. Looks quite close, but it works. <laughs> 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 
Then Rudy prepares the silicone. For this he makes a special attachment. For such sizes it makes sense to use a silicone machine like Rudy here. Here silicon is dispensed evenly. With acetone the glass edges are cleaned and freed from grease. After cleaning you are not allowed to touch them before they are being glued together. Then the installation starts with the first side glass. Rudy glues together the whole tank in only 30 minutes. Afterwards everything is sealed with dishwashing soap and saliva. This also prevents air pockets. The whole tank will need about two weeks to dry completely. So stay tuned guys. If you want to be part of the Seafriendly Reef community, feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Here you will get to see new tanks every week from all around Europe and collect the best inspirations for this hobby. Thank you for your support and see you next time. <laughs>